So I walk in the house and that's when I see all the paraphernalia on the table, some with peanut butter. And I'm like, hey, hi, mommy. <laughs> I'm like, you okay? He was like, yeah. And I'm like, what's wrong? Nothing. And then he asked why his dad was being so mean. People who know what's going on in my bed, they know what the hell going on with my bed and what the hell I do in it. That ain't for everybody on the internet. That ain't for no blogs. That ain't for no websites. I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at. On the streets with another TV, back with another one. So apparently your boy Dwight Howard got caught in another scandal on some funny business. Just like the full time he'd have been caught up on the funny business messing with these boys out here, allegedly. And he's filing back from all the allegations. But anyway, I'm gonna take y'all through how this whole thing transpired. Check it out. I went to court and I had a video of Braylon covering his face because he was saying how people were blowing smoke in his face, how daddy's friends look like zombies at the bottom of the stairs. Um, daddy acts weird. Son made her boyfriend's son him off. Yeah, inappropriate misconduct of a minor or something like that is charged. Yeah, I'm just curious as to where the son could have gotten it from. So that's predatory. Dwight Howard's ex-partner, Royce Reed, recently dropped a bombshell, revealing shocking details about Dwight's behavior during the COVID-19 quarantine. According to Royce, Dwight orchestrated explicit parties at his residence, referred to as freak offs, where his son, Brillen, inadvertently became a witness to everything that unfolded. Notably, Brillen had previously been ordered by a judge to maintain distance from younger children due to engaging in inappropriate behavior. Royce expressed deep concern over the possibility that Brillen might have been negatively influenced by the explicit activities he witnessed during these parties. The situation, beyond being characterized as repulsive, raises serious legal questions, prompting Royce to contemplate taking legal action against Dwight, echoing other high-profile cases in recent times. Adding to the narrative are recent rumors alleging that Dwight and Diddy, the renowned music mogul, used to frequent parties together. Royce disclosed that during the lockdown, Dwight hosted wild and explicit gatherings at his residence, even when strict quarantine measures were in place. Royce vividly described disturbing scenes of people engaging in explicit activities, substance use, and heated confrontations. The gravity of the situation became apparent when Royce detailed instances of threats made by Dwight's friends, including a chilling moment where someone allegedly threatened to shoot up the entire house. Fearing for her and Brillen's safety, Royce made a critical decision to leave Dwight's house in the early hours of the morning. Amidst these unsettling revelations, reports surfaced, suggesting that Brillen himself was involved in inappropriate conduct with another boy, leading to Royce's arrest on child neglect charges in March 2022. Court documents obtained by The Shade Room revealed that Brillen had a history of engaging in inappropriate behavior, including an incident where he allegedly coerced the son of Royce's boyfriend into performing an act. Royce addressed this incident in a recent interview with Vlad, revealing that she had reported inappropriate incidents involving Brillen since he was a baby. However, she claimed that a judge, who she insinuated may have been influenced by Dwight, threatened her with custody loss if she continued making accusations. These revelations have sparked widespread concern among fans. But anyways, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Streets want to know TV. I'm out.